Hey, what's up guys? Marco here. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to learn a beautiful Christmas carol. It's called Silent Night. I'm going to be using a beautiful guitar in this video, guys. And I'm going to show it to you quickly because we got to learn the song. But I have to say thank you so much to Avian or Avian for sending this beautiful guitar. Look at this. This is an awesome, beautiful looking guitar. It's a piece of art. Look at this headstock. I mean, this is handmade in China and they only do three models. So I'm gonna leave the link in the description if you wanna check it out. I'm really, really lucky that I'm able to play this beautiful guitar and I'm gonna play around with it before I actually show it to you guys, okay? So uh, check it out if you want. I'm gonna leave the link in the description. Now let's learn the melody. We're gonna start with a short intro. So we have E major, C sharp minor 9, F sharp minor 7, and just a B7, okay? We're gonna start with an E major shape, just a, uh, a basic E major shape, and we're gonna pick from 6 to 3. Then the melody on the fret, on the G string, fret number 2, B string open, and the E string open. And we change chord. So you want to put down uh, fret 4 on the A, G and B string and we kind of arpeggiate this chord. Very simple, beautiful, beautiful sounding chord. And then we do the same for the F sharp minor chord. It's just the 6, 4 and 3 on fret number 2. So A string, sorry, E string, D and G string, fret number 2. We don't really play the A string. And with this one, we pluck the E, D, and G string, and the B, the E, and the B again. And then the last chord, we have this B sus4, just fret 2 on the A, D, and G string. And then we bring the fourth down to the major third on the D string, fret number 1. Beautiful and really simple, we're not really playing that much. So after this, we're gonna play the melody. Now the melody is played in this middle range. So we're gonna start with an E major chord. I'm only playing D string fret two and the G string fret number one as I'm picking six, four, three, and two, okay? Then on the B string fret number two, open, and back to the E major, just the E, D, and G string. Very simple. We're gonna repeat that again. So it's twice, but the second time, we're gonna add um, two more notes just to make it a little bit more conclusive. So the G string fret two and the B string open. And then we change chord, B, uh, B major chord. I'm playing the B and the F sharp on the A string fret two and the E string fret number two. The F sharp again, and then we change the melody and we play it on the B string fret number four. Same bass note. Now, we're gonna fill in the gaps here with two more notes. Play it with the thumb um, and on the A string fret four and the D string fret number one. I'm just trying to hold the melody, which should still ring out, uh, which makes this, um, you know, position a little bit stretchy. If you struggle, just get rid of the melody. Make it a little bit more jumpy. And we go back to the uh, E major. So we have now this is pretty easy, we just have the G uh, string fret number one and the B and the E string, the melody is within the chord, so we just pick the whole thing together. So pick that together, bass, melody again on the top E string, and then we add the D uh, string fret number two and we play six, four, three, and two. Now we have a beautiful passage here. 
So three chords, the E major, the F sharp minor, uh, with just two, two and two on the E, D and G string, and then E over G sharp um, on the low E string, fret number four, and then two on the D string, and four on the G string. And we play the A major, so we're still in the same position, we're not really moving them much. That's very simple, just the A major chord played on fret number two. I'm only picking the A, the D, and the B string. And I'm kind of always playing the bass note before the melody, so... And then I have the melody on the B string fret number five. So it's five, four, and two, so... And back to the E major. So this is kind of pretty, you know, similar to what we were playing at the beginning on the E. So E major, six, four, three, and two. And then the B string, fret number two, and open. And we can repeat the same uh, F sharp minor and the same E over G sharp. And we'll go back to the A. It's the same melody, we're gonna play it slightly different, so we're gonna start the same. And then we have the E string open simultaneously with the A string open, the B string fret 4, and the G string fret number 6. You wanna let it ring out. And we'll go back to the E major. So far it's very simple. Now when we play this E major, we have again the same two additional notes that we played at the beginning. So the G string fret number two and the B string open. So just a quick recap, we have the intro. slightly different E major the E major is played with the A and B as well now we're moving towards the end of the song so we're gonna be playing the B chord it's very simple um, you can play the uh, B like this just the fret 2, B string open, and the E string fret number 2. Then the bass, and then the top again. Now we have a beautiful diminished chord. We have two diminished chords. So the first one is the F sharp. Just um, starting uh, from the D string, we have 4, 5, 4, 5. We pick the chord. You either pick it simultaneously, or you just quickly arpeggiate the strings. So you uh, then pick the E string, fret number four, and you move this chord all the way back to the fret number one. So it's one, two, one, two. And we finish with the C sharp minor and the A sus two. So the C sharp minor, we already learned the shape. You just wanna play a different set of strings. So five and one, two and three. And then just strum the, strum lightly though. The A sus two is just a very simple chord.
and then we have the last part of the melody. Now the melody is within the chord. In fact, we are playing an E major chord, and I'm picking six, three, two, and one, then B string and the G string. And then we have So I'm playing the B sus4 here and I'm just playing uh, 5, 4, 3 and 2 Then the G string, the D string for number 4 and now I'm gonna play the next chord which is a C sharp minor Now I'm going to arpeggiate this chord and then I'm gonna play this beautiful F sharp 7 so uh, I'm going to put down the A string fret number 4 and then 2 and then 1 and you want to pick 5 and 4 then 3 and then 2 the F sharp 7 on the low E string fret number 2 the D string fret 2 and the G string fret number 3 and we finish with Another E major chord, the bass is on the A string for number 2 and you play 5 and 1 then the B string and the G string for number 1 the B7, 2, 1, 2, open, 2 and the last chord beautiful A chord played with the uh, sharp um, raised 4 and the major 9 so it's just G and B string fret number 4 and we pick 5 and 1 2 and 3 we do it twice and we finish with the E major that's it guys this is how you can play this very simple arrangement so hopefully you're gonna like it short and cute you can get the tab, check my Patreon page if you need it, and also subscribe if you want to keep up with all the upcoming lessons. Now, I'm going to leave you to practice this. Let me know if you liked the tutorial, and I'll see you next time for another video.